Hey everybody, it's Debbie O'Neill with Scrap Me Quick Designs and today I want to show you how to use print and cut. Please see my previous video on how to calibrate your Cricut machine and your um, printer so that you're able to do the print and cut process. And uh, today I'm just going to show you how do you go through the print and cut steps. So first off what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I've logged into Design Space, I'm going to go into Create a New Project. Now you want to make sure that you have white cardstock loaded in your printer. All right, uh, It needs to be white because it has to have contrast with those registration marks so that it will, uh, the scanner will read it appropriately. If you use any other color pieces of paper, people are having trouble with that. Cricut has said that you really need to use white only. I know a few people tried to use a lighter, kind of a tan kind of color, and they got it to work, but that's kind of hit or miss. So you want to make sure that you're using white paper in your printer. So let's do this. Let's go into Insert Images. And I'm going to show you a couple of things. Okay, when you see images that have a little printer icon on them, those images are already flattened and ready for print and cut. Okay, so you wouldn't have to do anything to those images that were already set up. All right, but if you want to pick an image, let me pick, I guess we'll do Olaf since he's right here. Um, so if you want to do Olaf, you could highlight Olaf, do insert image. Olaf is a cut file, okay? So here's Olaf. He is a cut file. You see here where it is all cutting. It was going to cut out all of these pieces, his mouth and his arms and legs and everything. It's going to cut everything out. But I want to do a print and cut. I want to just have him as one layer and have him uh, go through my printer and become a print and cut file. So here is Olaf. Now, with print and cut, right now, uh, depending upon your browser, you're, you can do different sizes. So um, I believe that Google Chrome is 5.5 by 8 inches. So it's five and a half, you know, to right here, and then it goes down to eight inches. Within that print area, you're fine uh, when you size your images. I think that the other browsers, uh, Fire, what is the name of that? Firefox and uh, uh, Internet Explorer. You can use in Safari. You can do six by eight. Uh, that will change in the future. Cricut is working on us being able to use a bigger sheet of paper um, and be able to have it more more of our image be able to print out um, using the print and cut feature and that will be coming in a future release. There's no timeline on that yet, but it is coming. So for right now, you need to follow with whatever browser you're running you need to follow how big you can cut uh, any of your print and cut images. Okay, You can do more than one image at a time, but for right now I'm just going to show you, you would put on whatever image you want to use. This is a cut file image, but how do I get him to be a print and cut file? It is so easy. Cricut has made it so easy for us. All you have to do is go over here to your layers panel and you see that it says weld, attach, flatten, and contour. Flatten will now turn this into a print and cut file. Okay, So earlier I mentioned to you that any images that are already in Design Space that have this little icon printer are already print and cut files. Now we have now made Olaf a print and cut file. Okay, So we've got Olaf set up here. I'm going to say go. And what you're going to see is that that image is now going to come into Cricut Design Space on my on my virtual mat here. Over here is I can tell it how many projects I want to have. If and there's more mat set there's a uh, mat settings here. When you click on that, it says bleed. 
So this is automatically defaulted. You don't have to click on it. You don't have to do anything. When I talked about this earlier, when we were talking about the calibration process, I told you that it already defaults to the bleed so that when it cuts around the edges of this, you've got a little bit of wiggle room if, you're, if your calibration is slightly off. Okay? Um, and I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. And then you'll see that it says, just make sure it says that, you know, it is a print and cut file. It says material size. We know that we're using an 8.5 by 11. So there's no need to mirror this because we're not, we're going to just do a print and cut on cardstock. We're not doing it on printable um, material. So this is what we need to do. It's all set up. You see it there. And then I'm going to hit, um, I'm going to hit go. And then I'm going to, uh, then I'm going to show you what happens. So bear with me while I switch out the machine. Okay, so I put the paper in my printer and I had already set it to black and white so I'm going to change it back to color. It shows you the print screen here. Okay, so this is for my printer and it tells me that my destination for where it's going to go from Cricut Design Space is to this printer. If you have more than one printer at home, you can hit the change button and it'll show you. Now, I'm showing you using a Windows 7 operating system. Yours may look slightly different, but it will come up to some type of a print screen for you. And then once you make sure it all looks fine to you, then you're going to hit print. Okay, so I'm going to send this over to the printer. And while it's doing that and going over to the printer to print out, I'm going to pick which of my Cricut machines I'm sending this to because I have two that are registered here. One is my regular Cricut Explorer and then I have a Cricut Explorer Air. So I'm just going to pick my Explorer because that's the one I'm going to send this to. And once it gets printed out, I am going to um, switch to a different uh, camera so you guys can see the whole print and cut process. So bear with me one second. Okay, and I'm back to show you the whole, the rest of the print and cut process so you can see exactly what's going to happen here. Here is Olaf. He has printed out beautifully on the white cardstock. And here are the three registration marks that my Explorer is going to read before it tries to cut Olaf out. Now if you'll notice, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but he looks like he has a big thick black line all the way around him. Okay, that's the bleed. That's where it's going to cut. Now when you go to put this on your Cricut mat, I'm just using a lot one of my light grip blue mats. Um, this will be fine for what I'm, I'm doing this for. And I want to put that on and I want to make sure that I smooth my paper down well. Okay, because I want it to be adhered nicely so when it's cutting off any problems. Now I'm going to move this so you guys can see. Now this is what I need to do. I'm going to hit the go button, I mean hit the feed button there. And now my blinker is blinking here telling me that I can go. And I'm going to hit go. I did already make sure that my setting was on cardstock because I printed him out on cardstock. So my setting, my smart set dial is already on cardstock. Now if you'll notice the light came on here. This is the print and cut scanner. It's right here and the marks are like in an L shape so it's going to go back and forth across the bottom and it does it several times so don't freak out if it seems like it's taking forever this is not a super quick process here but I love the results I love the results <laughs> um, but you can see it's it, he, now now he went this way and now he's going across the top then he's going to come read this one I don't know why I'm calling it a he, I just do. I guess I think of cricket as a he. 
and then it's going to go down to the it went across the top now it's going to go across these two bot the bottom one there's only two at the top and one at the bottom then it's going to go back up across the mat and now it's going to start cutting so it's going to it'll pick a spot on your image and it'll will cut so I picked Olaf because it has a lot of kind of small little pieces where his arms are and so forth, so you can really kind of see how how nicely it cuts on those. And uh, who doesn't love Olaf, right? So he's a great image to, to show you. Okay, so once, it, once you hear it click off and the light's gone off and everything's good, you're going to uh, unload your mat. And then I just kind of carefully peel it off. Where those little edges are. Okay. Let me turn this back onto what I'm doing. Okay, so I all I did was I took this and I kind of peeled it up and just around where the little the little more delicate edges are. I just was extra careful when I pulled that up. Okay, so I'm going to open this up. I mean, take him off, open him up. <laughs> um, so here is Olaf, print and cut. He looks beautiful. There's the back. See, he's all white on the back, but he's awfully cute on the front. And um, he just looks great. So this is the print and cut process and it's a lot of fun and I have some other videos showing you how I've used print and cut um, you know to make tags to uh, do right you know adding writing onto tags um, uh, there's just a lot of great uses how to make your own treat bag toppers using print and cut and uh, great for birthday parties or into school or or uh, maybe special get-togethers for bridal showers or baby showers or whatever. So um, Print and Cut has a lot of great uses, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber, and please follow us over at the Let's Learn Cricut Explore Facebook group where we have a lot more fun uh, learning about how to use our Cricut machines. Uh, Cricut Explore, and uh, you can always find me at scrapmequickdesigns.com. Would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment, and hope you have a great day. Bye.